Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another FNAF News video. Today, we're gonna be touching upon a topic that I honestly haven't really talked a whole lot about, even though, in my opinion, it's probably the most interesting upcoming FNAF project we have. And that, of course, as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail, is the Tales from the Pizzaplex book series. If you don't know what Tales from the Pizzaplex is, it's basically the Fazbear Fright books, but if they were in Security Breach. Because as you can tell from the name, Tales from the Pizzaplex, Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex, these all relate back to Security Breach. And the other day we got revealed to us the third book in the series. We don't know how many books there's going to be, but right now we have three. I talked about the first one, Lally's Game, in a previous video. I'll leave that link down below if you want to go give that a watch after this one. What's interesting is that we don't have descriptions for the second and third book, only the first book, Lally's Game, has an official description. So all we have to go off of are the covers and the title of the book. So without further ado, if you're brand new, subscribe, hit the like button, and let's hop into Tales from the Pizza Plus. So like I said, I did talk about Lally's game in a separate video not too long ago, but I do want to quickly go over it again in case you missed it. So this is the cover for the first book, Lally's Game. Obviously, the first thing that catches your eye is the humanoid robot, the android in the center, peeking out from behind a door, and also there's someone holding on to them. It looks like they're kind of a parental figure, the way they're holding on to this creature. So if I had to take a guess, I'm assuming that person is the creator of whoever this new character is, Lally, if that is even Lally. The description for the book goes as followed, some secrets are better left hidden. A forbidden artifact, which in this case is most likely Lally, from her fiancé's past beckons to Selena. Jessica leads a double life from her friends and co-workers in the children's wing of a hospital. Hospital, and Maya can't resist the temptation to explore an off-limits area of Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex. But in the world of FNAF, everything comes with a price to pay. So you can see in that third story about Maya going to an off-limit part of the Pizzaplex directly links to Security Breach because it is the same location, the Mega Pizzaplex. One of the most interesting things to speculate right now is are these connected to the game universe of the Pizzaplex? Or is it its own, you know, separate universe, the timeline, if you want to call it that, where the Pizzaplex we explore in Maya's story isn't the same Pizzaplex as the one we see in the game. We don't know yet, it's interesting to theorize, but those are the summaries, that is a quick overview of the first book, Lally's Game. And now let's move on to the second book, titled Haps. So as you can see, this is Tales from the Pizzaplex number two, Haps. And right off the bat, we can spot a brand new character who most likely is called Haps. It seems like they are a service bot, someone that you call to in case you need help, in case of a emergency, because on their body it says help is on the way. So let's assume someone gets lost or is stuck in the Mega Pizzaplex, they call over this robot, help is on the way, they come and save them. However, as we can assume based off of the busted up um, body of this character and also the half terrifying face, I don't think they're going to be much help. If anything, I think in the story they will be the main problem of what the character needs help for. If that makes any sense, but yeah, very terrifying character and also a new character. So once again, that could add to the fact that this is a separate Pizzaplex than the one we see in the game. Because the only, like, helpful bots we get in the game are the staff bots, and even some of them aren't so helpful. But you do see some of them, like, you know, surveilling the area, you see some of them mopping the floor, and then we also see the wet floor bots. They don't have an official name, I know Docco likes to call them Pat Pat. <laughs> so you've got the little pat pats that don't do anything, but they do, they look kind of similar to this guy. So maybe this is the book universe of the wet floor bots. I don't know. It's, it's certainly interesting to theorize about new characters. As I said earlier in the video, there's no description for the second and third book. So again, the cover is all we have to go off on. I should have mentioned this earlier, but the first book comes out July 19th and the second one comes out on the 30th of August. August. So much like the Fazbear Fright books, it seems like they're going to be released around like a month and a half to two months between each book. Yeah, that is Haps. I'd love to know your theories on this character, the stories that could be involved. Without a proper description, it is very difficult to guess 
what's gonna happen in these books because we don't have a description it's a new character on the cover all we know is that it'll connect to the pizza plex it's a little frustrating but at the same time very very intriguing so now let's move on to the third and so far final book in the series we don't know how many books there are but right now all we know is that there are three confirmed and this is definitely the most interesting one in my opinion this is the cover for the third story as you can see it features the moon the daycare attendant and the title is somnophobia now somnophobia is the fear of not only falling asleep but staying asleep and we do know that the moon drop nighttime candy is something that the daycare attendant gives out to children in the daycare to make them sleep because as we know from the game once you get past your bedtime you must be punished bad children must be punished and all that so it seems like this story is going to delve into the daycare attendant putting someone to sleep and keeping them asleep with this candy and even his eyes look like candy they could be like hypnotizing swirls to keep someone asleep, but they do look like candy, so I do think that was intentional. This one comes out on the 1st of November, and yeah, it's it's super interesting. This is the first character that we've seen on the cover of these books that we saw in the game. And speaking of stuff we saw in the game, if you remember, there was a, a duffel bag that has a message you collect right before you enter the daycare. It's in one of the bathrooms off to the side. It's called Night Terrors, and it is a customer complaint. My son never had sleeping problems, but after spending an evening in the daycare, he refuses to sleep with the lights out anymore. He just cries and cries and then when i do let him keep the lights on he wets the bed so i don't think that this message you know specifically will connect to the story but it does show you just how terrifying kids can think the daycare attendant is because they are pretty creepy but i definitely do think that this story will involve the moon drop candy and they're gonna be like stuck sleeping they're gonna try not to fall asleep but they will fall asleep and they're gonna be stuck sleeping probably forever if I had to predict the ending of the story. But yeah, those are the three Tales from the Pizza Plex books we have right now releasing again July, August, and November. Don't know how many books are going to be in the series. I, I honestly hope it's not 12 because 12 Fazbear's Frights was a freaking lot. But I'm certainly very interested to see how these may connect to the game, what we've seen in the game. And we're only a few months away from getting the first book, so it seems like we're not gonna have to wait too, too much longer. If we do get any news about future installments in this series, of course, I'll let you guys know. Subscribe so you stay up to date with all the news. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.